Hello everybody, in this video we are going to show how to integrate the BACnet web services running on a Dingo device with a graphical data-driven development platform called DGLogs. So for this demonstration I have installed the DGLogs server on a Dingo device with the Raspberry Pi 3COM module. The install process is documented in the link that appears on the screen now. We are then going to read data via the BACnet web services on another Dingo device that is logging temperature values in my office via a one-wire sensor. We are going to start by logging into the DigiLog server. We are going to create a new project and call it Office Temperature. Then we go to Modify and choose Project Data Flow. We are going to start by creating a string loader. The string loader is responsible for reading the data from the BACnet web services on the other Dingo device. Now we are locking the temperature values every minute on the other Dingo device. So we set the string loader to run every 60 seconds to get the newest data. We also need a path that points to the trend log that we are going to read from. I'm going to use a path that gets data that is older than a date that is 100 years in the future. And I only want 360 values. And I want the data in JSON format. This will always give me the latest 6 hours of data. Then we create a script which will format the JSON to something that better suits DigiLogs. We are going to invoke the script when the string loader is invoked. I then add a field to the script called input that is going to be bound to the output of the string loader. Then I insert the formatting script. and set auto run to true. The output of that script will go into a JSON parser, which will contain a table that is easily integrated with the charts within DG Logs. We then insert a chart. Open the table in the JSON parser and drag the value field onto the chart. We then set the axis and then we get the latest six hours of data from the trend log. Let us format the line chart so that it is more visible. Let us resize the chart so that it fills more on the screen. Let us open the data flow window again and create a second string loader. I'm now going to read the current temperature directly from the BACnet analog input object that is associated with the one wire temperature sensor. I'm going to let the string loader load the value every 5 seconds. And here is the path within the BACnet web services. The path points to the present value of the analog input, and I want the value formatted as plain text. Let us move the data flow window so that we have more room. Then I insert a gauge and simply bind the output to the value. 
let's set units to degrees Celsius. Let us move and resize the gauge. The one wire sensor is right in front of me, so let me take the sensor into my hand and let us see if the temperature rises. And it seems to work. The dashboard can be shared with others. To do that, we acquire a link. Let us open a new browser window and insert the link to see if that works. And it seems to work. So that is it. We have DigiLogs running on a Dingo device, reading data from another Dingo device via the BACnet web services. I hope you learned something from this video. Goodbye for now.